Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and today I've got a playing with makeup video for you guys. I kind of went through my collection and I pulled out a few things that I really wanted to use for today and kind of show you guys on camera. So let's just jump straight into it. I've got no idea what type of look I want to film for today. I don't know if it's going to be super dramatic, super natural. I really don't know. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but let's just jump straight into it. So I've already applied my skincare. So over the top, I'm going to be using my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base. I also fake tanned using a new fake tan. And oh my goodness, like look at the difference between like my, even just like my neck and my face. And oh my goodness, I just love the smell of this stuff. It kind of has like a citrusy smell to it. It's so refreshing. Now I'm just going to use a little bit of my Clarins Pore Primer. It's called the Instant Smooth. I sometimes forget the name of it. It's so bad. But anyway. And then I just rub a little bit on my nose as well. Because I've been getting a little bit of dryness on my nose. I shouldn't lead in because it'll go out of focus. But yeah, like I've been getting a little bit of dryness on my nose. So I've been putting it on that as well. Just to kind of like smooth it all out. A part of me kind of wants to use a little bit of this Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in the shade Medium. I'm going to give it a go. I'll apply it. I don't know. Do I apply it just directly with this applicator or do I... Like, how do I do it? This is so weird. Like, I really don't know how much is too much. I really should stop just applying random dots to my face, but whatever. It's okay. I'm just going to use my Sigma Kabuki brush. I kind of wish that that came in a pump. That would be so much easier, I feel like, to apply. That's probably the only downside, I think. Yeah, that's super, super nice. It actually reminds me quite a lot of my Clarins primer that I used to use back in the day. I think they've rebranded it. I think it's called like the SOS primer now, but I haven't bought it since they've rebranded it. So that's the first time that I've actually used the medium shade before and I've actually applied it all over my face and I actually really, really like it. So I think today I'm going to try out the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Stromboli. I'm hoping this will match me once I have everything onto my face. I actually haven't used this foundation that I bought before. I did have a sample and I really, really liked it, but I haven't actually tried it from the bottle before. Pump size is pretty small. Oh, look at my hand. That's shocking. So I'm just going to take like a little bit and I'm just going to apply that to the face. Hopefully this is the right color for me for today. To be honest, it's probably not because I have not been this fake tanned in a really, really long time. So I doubt that any of my foundations will actually match me. But we'll just see how we go. I think I used way too much of that foundation. So I'm just going to um, spread it over the other side of my face. Because I've still got so much. And then I do try and put the foundation underneath my eyes. For a really, really long time, I never used to do that. But now I do. I just like to put a light little bit as a bit of extra coverage. I'm going to cream contour my face as well as use this palette to correct my face as well. This is the MAC. Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in the shade Medium. I'm going to use maybe like a mixture of these two shades to kind of contour my face. And then I'm probably just going to use maybe this color mixed with this one underneath my eyes. But we'll see how we go. I'm just going to grab the two middle shades first and then apply that to like my contour areas. I actually really, really like this palette. It's quite a versatile one. I really don't reach for it enough though because I feel like, I don't know, I don't really like reaching for like solid cream products on like a day-to-day -day basis so i've really got to make like an effort to use this i always find contouring on this side so much harder than on this side of my face i think the only thing that i wish with this palette is that the darker shades were on the top and the lighter shades were kind of closer to these like yellow pink colors just because when I dip my brush in, I get a little bit of the yellow sometimes, which is obviously my own fault, but I'd rather get like a skin tone color than the yellow that's like a brightening shade. I think the reason why I really do quite like that concealer palette is because it is quite versatile. Like if you do have like, for example, for me, this fake tan is a little bit darker than what I normally use, or if someone just normally gets a darker tan naturally, you can really just mix in a little bit of the darker shades and like customize it for like if you've got a blemish or if it needs to go under your eyes or anything like that like you can customize it but then you can also use it for other things like you can use it for other things as well like i'm cream contouring with the darker shades i'm now going to use a little bit of this shade down here mixed with the pink color i'm just going to take that on my ring finger these are probably my two most used shades from the palette and then i'm just going to pat that underneath my eye and then I might grab a little bit of that yellow shade and just put it 
here like where my nose kind of like dips in because I don't really have much of a nose bridge so I like to put a little bit of highlighter here to kind of like bring it like forward just a little bit and then for some reason I always just put a little bit on my nose as well and then I'll just put a little bit on my chin this is my like normal go-to Tarte Shape Tape color and I think it's going to be way too light for me today but this is in the shade light neutral I'm just going to put like a few dots where I've put that yellow and then I'm also going to put that underneath my eyes. This one is literally like almost done. I'm like scraping the edges. I look like Bambi. <laughs> oh my god. I actually look like Bambi. <laughs> okay. Don't judge me. My beauty blender is absolutely filthy. I didn't want to wash my brushes because I just had fake tan on. Okay. Don't judge me. But I'm just going to pat out my nose. Like the contour on my nose. And then I'm also just going to pat out the contour like the concealer that's on my nose bridge. I honestly feel like I look so weird until I put on my concealer to kind of add a bit of dimension back to my face. So I was on YouTube earlier today and I saw some, like a video about Lorac come out and oh my goodness, I haven't heard of people using Lorac in ages, it feels. Like I used to love Lorac back in the day. So I was like, you know what? Even though they're really old, I dug out my old Lorac palettes and I was like, I'm going to use these because apparently they've come out with like a new collection, but they've still got like their old palettes like available, which I think is really, really good. My, one of my big pet peeves with eyeshadow palettes is when brands discontinue a really, really good palette. It honestly like upsets me so much. So I kind of really want to use some Lorac stuff today. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. Like Lorac, Lorac, I have no idea, but if you do want to get any of their stuff, I know that iHerb sells their stuff and Beauty Bay sells their stuff as well. And I used to absolutely love it. I'm just going to use the Beauty Blend to kind of even it all out. I'm going to use the Lorac Contour Palette and I'm going to set underneath my eyes. I feel like I probably should apply a bit more of something because I can still see a little bit of darkness. But I'm also really lazy. Should I? You know what? Yes, I am because honestly, it will irk me. For the rest of the day i'm going to use a darker shade this is medium sand tart shape tape and i'm just going to put a little bit here where it's dark and hopefully that will help balance it all out so i think i am just going to use the yellow highlight shade because i feel like if i use the beige highlight which is the color up the top it's going to look way too light underneath my eyes and hopefully this is not a massive fail because if it's a massive fail on one eye i'm literally going to stop and change to a different powder Oh, that looks really nice under the eyes. I forgot how nice that looked. I probably didn't use enough concealer. I really should have just used some Kevin Aquan today, but it is what it is. But yeah, honestly, I feel like I haven't heard about Lorac in like the YouTube community in, honestly, years. And I don't really know what made me think about it, to be honest with you. But honestly, I'm so glad that they're still coming out with products because they were a really, really nice brand. Or they are. I'm, I'm talking about it as if they've stopped manufacturing or something. But anyway, I really like how my under eyes look, but I think it's starting to crease ever so slightly, which is really annoying, but that's okay. I'm going to grab a little bit of the yellow color and I'm just going to put it on my chin and just on the parts that I normally highlight because when I go in with powder, it won't disrupt the color at all. So I'm just going to go over the face with my Cody Airspun powder. I always get some on my brush and then I always swirl it into the lid and then I start patting it on. I started using my Cody Airspun powder again because I found Holly Madison on YouTube. And I don't know, I've always thought that she was just absolutely stunning and she had a makeup tutorial and she used this and she said it was her ride or die powder. So I've been trying to use it, but I still can't get over the fragrance. Like the fragrance honestly of this powder is so strong. I'm going to use my Nabla Neptune again. I love this stuff. It's so great. It's just a brow pomade that has like a super cool toned like shade to it. And I'm definitely going to fill in the patch of my eyebrow that doesn't have any eyebrow hair. Um, while I was doing my brows, I was thinking of what lipstick I wanted to use because I know back in the day when I would do these videos, I would normally pick a lip color first so everything wouldn't just end up being like a nude lipstick and neutral eye. So what I did was actually dug through and I found Lady Danger because for some reason, like yesterday when I was working, I was thinking, you know what, 
I really miss wearing Lady Danger. So I was going to film that on the weekend. So I was, I was like, you know what? I'm filming now. Let's do it. So this is Lady Danger by MAC. It's one of their matte lipsticks. And I used to wear this all the time. And I don't think I own a red lip liner. So I'm not going to line my lips. Okay, so that is Lady Danger on my lips. I absolutely love how white this lipstick makes my teeth look. Like, so for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Lorac Pro, just the original palette. Honestly, I've had this palette for so long and it's still so good. And I'm just going to grab, oh, what shade should I use? I want to grab the shade Taupe and I want to grab the shade Cream and just mix them together. I do wish that there was a shade like taupe, but just a bit lighter. I feel like that would just be like a perfect shade. But I'm just going to push that through my crease. Push that through. No, put that through. Sorry. I don't even know if you're meant to mix them together, but whatever. So lockdown's been extended again. I won't be able to go to my wedding dress, fitting, try on, whatever you want to call it. So that's not ideal but I was kind of preparing for it like I was kind of expecting for it to happen so it wasn't like a complete surprise to me but it just sucks you know because like it's so much money okay I'm definitely not a fan of mixing the two shades together because it's made it look really like ashy so I'm just gonna use my finger and try and wipe away as much as I can I definitely do not recommend you do this like at home like I don't know <laughs> I'm just going to grab the taupe shade by itself. I'm just going to push that through the crease. I need to stop saying push that through. Put that through the crease. Oh my goodness, what's wrong? Honestly, sometimes the brush that you use for makeup makes all of the difference. Because this brush makes applying makeup so easy. Like especially like eyeshadow and stuff. It just makes it so easy because it's so fluffy. So I'm going to pick up Sable from the palette and I'm just going to use a Coastal Scents brush, which is actually really, really sad. You can't get them anymore because I don't think they make Coastal Scents anymore. But anyway, I'm just going to run this through kind of like the outer portion of my eye, I think. It's so hard to do makeup, I feel, because I feel like both sides of my, like each of my eyes are different. So it feels like one side will look good with one type of like technique and the other side will not. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Espresso, which is a little bit darker. And just put that further out on my eye. I think I really should try doing my eyeshadow first. Because often when I do my eyeshadow, like a lot comes down underneath here. Like not in like a fallout way, but like if I blend it, it ends up down here. But yeah, so with lockdown being extended, I'm glad that I didn't really have like a hands planned or anything like that. Because that would have been really sad. I actually really miss doing eyeshadow. Like I feel like for a really long time, I'd be like, oh, all eyeshadow looks the same on me. And it's only since I've kind of been playing around with like different makeup palettes a bit more that I've really started to realize like, no, it still does look like how it used to look. You just need to play around with them. So I'm starting to get out of that eyeshadow rut, which is good. I'm just gonna blend down with this buffing brush and hope it doesn't go in my eye. But I used to do like this technique where I would kind of like, hug the eye like like hug the eye with my buffing brush and it would kind of give me like the appearance of like bigger eyes a little bit and i kind of see it now okay so i'm gonna grab my do faced glitter glue this is what i like to use sometimes to add like a bit of a base i'm just gonna apply a little bit to the back of my hand and then apply it to my eye so i kind of had a little bit of like a sticky base for the eyeshadows to stick to this glitter glue, honestly, is so good. You don't just need to use it for glitters. Like, I use it for shimmers or anything like that. And I find that that's the best way that even, like, with a cut crease and stuff, that's how I achieve it. Okay, I'm just going to curl my lashes and put on a little bit of mascara. Oh, my goodness. Do I have a story for you guys? So, the other day, I was filming, like, a YouTube video for you guys. And it was kind of like a get ready with me type of thing. And no word of a lie, my eye... Like my eyelash got stuck in the eyelash curler and I was actually like legitimately stuck. I have it on video and I don't think that I'll be posting that on the internet, but oh my goodness, it was terrifying. So now I'm like low key fearful that it will happen again, but I've also used this eyelash curler like so many times and it's never happened to me before. So I have no idea. I feel like my makeup looks very very dramatic and I 
it kind of looks a bit scary. I think I'm going to change the lip color. Okay, so I'm going to use these lashes that I've been using in my last few videos. I think that they're Model Rock either number one or number five. I absolutely love them in the fluffy range. I'm just going to apply these to my eye. Oh, that was not good. But yeah, for the longest time, I felt like I had to wear eyeliner. But like, I felt like it looked nicer with lashes. And then, I don't know what, like, why I did it. But I was like, no, I'm going to try without lashes because I, um, without liner. Because I literally would always do that. Like, I think I only really got into eyeliner in, like, 2017, I feel like. Like, properly got into eyeliner. So I was like, I went all these years without it. And I feel like I really liked how I looked without the liner. So I just stopped using light liner recently and I've been loving it. Okay, so now that my lashes are on, I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara to my lower lash line. I feel like I can't talk while I do my lower lash line because I really need to have like so much tension so I don't like smudge it everywhere. Wow, this is like a lot darker than what I normally do, or at least I have done for a really, really long time. I don't even recognize myself. Okay, moving on to face makeup, I'm going to start with the Lorac Contour Palette and I'm going to use this shade here. Definitely doesn't blend as nicely as like my Too Faced does. Like it's kind of left a weird line here. I don't know if you can see it at all. That side applied so much nicer. Yeah, I did a terrible job at color matching today. Oh my goodness, I can't believe how much lighter it went. I'm going to go over my face with a little bit of MAC NC35, see if that will help darken my foundation a little bit do you ever just do your makeup in a certain way and you feel like you look like your old self i know that seems like so weird but i don't know like this reminds me of how i used to do my makeup in like my like early mid 20s okay i'm gonna use a little bit of mac warm soul blush because i don't know i thought this would be like the perfect bronzy pinky color just to add to the cheeks and then I'm just going to use my Candlelight Glow Powder by Laura Mercier just on my forehead and the center of my face. Besides the color match being absolutely terrible, I actually love how this makeup turned out. I cannot wait for summer to be here so I can kind of like wear this look because I actually just absolutely love it. Okay, everybody. So I think I am finished with the makeup look. I absolutely love how it turned out. I'm obsessed with like the skin, the lips, the eyes, literally I'm obsessed with it all. I love it all together so, so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like the look that I end up coming up with. If you guys want to see anything in particular from me, then please leave it in the comments down below and I'd be more than happy to try and film that for you. And yeah, I hope you guys are staying safe. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and also press that notification bell if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.